Well, it's uh, 1.57 a.m. I've got Lucy here Hi. helping hey, me out. Castle, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the Depop store is about to go live. We're just going through all the listings, making sure all the details are correct. And I figured I may as well film the occasion. We've got two minutes, but once the clock hits 2 a.m., do we just go through and hit post, 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 post like that? I assume so. So there's no like bulk way to just send all live? Oh, we got one minute. <laughs> you're ready or not, one is so funny. <laughs> Rich family got you down? No worries. Just wear this with a pair of Converse and hope for the best. <laughs> okay, what if we go from the bottom and we meet in the middle? So like, okay. uh, I'll, want me to start? I'll start at the bottom. You start at the okay. top. Nine, eight, oh God. Seven. They're disappearing as we're pressing it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, no, it's really oh, who's gonna get there first? What? Did it time out for you? I timed out on my end. Oh, no, not for me. Okay, great. No, I'm still going strong. Okay, I'll go and I'll organize the listings on the page. Oh, you. Oh, oh no. Did <laughs> you timed out? Oh, here they, they're coming back. Okay, good. Post, post. I suddenly regret listing so many things. Oh, God. It'll be fine. Don't panic. List on Depop. Panic attack. <laughs> We're done! I'm stuff, so don't mind me. Oh, your profile. Okay. Ooh, so you're rearranging. What's the order that you're rearranging in? It's already sold. Oh wow! It's gone. <gasps> the suki beret. The suki beret. The other Japanese dress is gone. The rabbit collar. Oh, the rabbit collar. Oh, the Barbie t-shirt is gone. Oh, the other oh, Barbie t-shirt. <laughs> the Barbie skirt's gone. The purple dress is gone. No. <laughs> what do you mean oh, no? God. That dress from side of that is really oh, short. The tiny cider dress gone. Oh, I should be screen recording this shit. This is crazy. Um. It's two minutes past two and half of it's gone. <laughs> Hang on. Oh my Wait. god. Screen yeah. record. We're two minutes in. The first thing is to go. The little tiny side address that I hated. Uh, oh my we've god. got the, the Japanese one gone, the other Japanese one. Oh my god, someone bought that white fox dress. Oh, they bought both white fox dresses. Japanese dresses are gone. Almost all the Barbie stuff is gone. What? All the Japanese ones, yeah. Hang on, you mean someone didn't buy the cake topper? <laughs> no one's bought the... I... Oh my God. What? I moved all the sold stuff to the bottom, refresh. Oh, you did? No! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've... Uh, Lazy Oaf is gone, Cottage Core, Delius, another Yes Style Barbie. Oh my God, the cake topper! The cake topper is gone! Ready or not, gone. Ty yes, almost. Oh, the Suki one went. Wow. We've already sold over half of everything. The only things left now. Hang on, let me refresh again. Hang on, I'll move everything sold down. Oh my god. It's all selling by the second. I just refreshed it, three more things sold. There's what the hell? 13 things left. No, no. Uh, make that 12. 12 things left. We are four minutes in. <laughs> But no one's bought that little 13 going on 30 dress. I'm really surprised because so many people asked me when I did my cider video, so many people asked me to review it. I don't know, I suppose it's because you can still buy it online, whereas some of the stuff you've got, like, you can't get it anywhere. Like, those Japanese dresses, you can't get them anywhere. True, yeah, true. They're rare. 11 things left. They're Five they're minutes past. That's a really clever feature that they let you, like, rearrange. <laughs> the purple Barbie set sold. Princess oh Polly gone. Yes, style cottage core gone. Um, oh. Someone did it. Someone bought the rainbow dress. I literally, I said, don't do it. In the listing, I said, don't do it. The, the only description.
for this item is don't do it. And the price is 666. And someone did it. Oh, move sold items down. There's a button. Oh, I'm an idiot. Here I was. I was like clicking and dragging them to the bottom. It's eight minutes past two in the morning. There's only five things left. I didn't think it would all go. I thought like a couple of things. Oh, did they? They bought it? Yes. Now we're down to pink Barbie shirt, grumpy cat dress, the daisy dress, and the bucket hat. Well, it's 20 minutes past two, and everything sold. How many items were there, Lucy, in total? Do you remember? 48. 48 items, and they sold in 20 minutes. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. They bought something. That was wild. Uh, if you are watching this video and you're one of the people that was sitting there waiting, please leave a comment and tell me about your experience. <laughs> Were you like, quick, <laughs> and tell, tell me what happened. And to anyone that missed out, I'm really, really sorry, but I have so many other things that I'm going to be releasing. This was just drop one. We're gonna do multiple drops, you know, in the coming weeks and months and everything. So I, I didn't put everything here that I have to get rid of. Uh, I just put uh, the initial selection, but I've got a lot of things to go through still from my old wardrobe. And then from Thriftmas this year, there's gonna be so many things. And there's also gonna be more sizes available after Thriftmas, cause I've been thrifting things in like size 16 and 18 and stuff like that. So yeah, thank you everyone. Thank you so much. People like to ask me, Alex, why do you leave the tags on everything? This is why. something for you. Have one. Come on, have one. Oh, but you, you know, you just knocked out a chicken with that ball. Have a strawberry. Hydrangeas are as magnificent as they are dramatic. I know, looks pretty grim, huh? One day without water and this happens. Shut up and stop complaining. When I get back from shopping with Caitlin today, these are gonna go from looking like this to looking like this. And if they don't, I might just cry but I'm speaking it into existence. <gasps> Look at your shoes! Oh my you god! You saw them last time! No, I didn't notice them. So we've got a what, Princess Polly skirt. Yeah. What's your top? Uh, I think it came from uh, Big W. Nice, nice. Yeah. That bag. Japan. Japan. This is Kipling. Kipling. Mm -hmm. We have a, a big day and I'm running on like two hours of sleep. 
I mean, so it's kind of normal for you, I'm, right? I'm going to rely on you to be your usual bubbly self to keep me awake. Oh, cool. I thought you were going to be like, I have to rely on you to make the decisions. I'm like, please don't do that. <laughs> I can't make them either. Okay. How many Salvo's parcels do you get a week? Uh, currently none. I'm waiting on a bunch of yours to arrive. Oh, well, so I'm waiting on a bunch of things I got for you to arrive. <laughs> so I'm going to leave this out here. Here's the, uh, you know, the holy month. At the height, I think I got four in one, like one day. In, the, in that moment, I was like, I've bought too much stuff. You're gonna be shocked when you see how, <laughs> you wanna see a magic trick? Wow. <gasps> what did you get? I don't remember. Oh, this, oh is, boy. this is like a lucky dip. Oh boy. Any guesses, Caitlin? Uh, Thank you for supporting the Fern Tree Gully Salvos. The bubble wrap, so it must be fragile. It's a vase. It's huge. Why is it so big? It's a vase. What is this? It's a single SD card. Oh, it's a lamp. Oh, it's my hair dryer. Oh. Oh my gosh. You look like you're like cuddling an air fryer. A pink air fryer. Yeah. How do you? Okay. Or like some really complicated Tupperware. Ooh. So this goes on your head <laughs> while you're waiting for your hair to dry. Apparently it works. It said on the website it's in full working order. Oh boy. Well, I think I know what uh, day seven of Thriftmas is going to be. No, uh, day eight? I think oh, I know what day... Oh, she's gone mad. She doesn't remember the days. Oh my god. It'll be on the internet when it's on the internet. She'll try so her hardest. You put that on a table and then this goes into... But come on, what do you put your, how do you put your head in there? Well, the, there's got to be a table behind oh, you. Maybe the other way around. There is going to be someone out there who used to work with these just oh. yelling at us. And then... Do, do we feel like the whole way isn't the best place to be trying this out? I don't know what to talk about. This is a horror movie now. <laughs> this is evolving. I really like the idea of I can dry my hair and play on my phone at the same time. I have here on this rack an assortment of dark academia fashion that I got from Yes Style. Now, I was very excited about this video concept based on the images on the Yes Style website, but when the parcel arrived and I actually started filming the video, because I was going to make the video, I only wore dark academia clothing from Yes Style for a week, I started filming that and I was a little bit, just teeny, teeny, tiny little bit disappointed so much so that I decided not to post the video. Luckily, YesStyle gave me these clothes for free, but I was thinking, yeah, such a waste to have all of these and never show them on camera. But I, I just, I didn't want to show it. So I was like, it's, it's just not good enough to talk about. But today we have an excuse to talk about these clothes and turn a not so great situation into a learning experience and into a bit more of a positive one. So I've got my friend Caitlin here, who I would say, probably dresses the closest to dark academia it's out me. of everyone in our friend it's group. It's me, I'm the excuse. Hello. <laughs> so uh, the outfit that you turned up in today, I, d I didn't even ask you to dress like that. No, you, she recoiled. She was very scared. No, I, I, I wasn't scared. I was like aghast. I was like, oh, wow, you look so nice. So, uh, and you know, you're like seven foot well, tall. Well, say it next time. Instead of you just like open the door and and then you shut the door immediately. You didn't say anything. You just shut the door on me. I looked behind me. I was like, is there someone following me in? They have a knife? Like, the thought process was I opened the door and I was like, she looks so good, I can't comprehend. And I just like, my brain was like, not now. I thought what we could do is have a look at these items from Yes Style. I tried to put together three dark academia inspired outfits from Yes Style. And the first one, I figured you can't go wrong with like a cream or white turtleneck and you can, but it's fine. <sighs> and a brown skirt like a pleated skirt nice. i figured very that's very dark academia pleated skirt and turtleneck then i got a tweed jacket which would go over the top and there's also a little bag but this little satchel bag as well to match the outfit oh, sweet so that's the outfit number one outfit number two the idea was to have plaid pants and then have a nice sort of um, cardigan tucked into those plaid pants. Sorry, <coughs> apologies. She's allergic to bad fashion. And then have a brown belt. And then I also had a trench coat, you know, to go over the top. Okay, okay without that, all right, I want you to point, go to the screen, show them what that is. That reminds me of like, you know, a Guy Ritchie Sherlock Holmes background character. I'm not mad about that. 
But like specific, if, I, if I could stand in the background and look at Benedict like Cumberbatch specific, all day. <laughs> specifically, not a Benedict Cumberbatch, we're talking like uh, Robert Downey Jr. Oh, no, thank you. No. Oh, he's still nice. He's alright, but I'm he's not, not Benedict Cumberbatch. But it's specifically, we're talking like turn of the century, industrial yeah. revolution, yeah. smokehouse. Mm-hmm. Evening, Governor, how you doing? Coming like, in soot. Uh, the final thing that I got, I got a white button up shirt, which could then have a vest, a tweed vest over the top of it. And then matching pants, and then the matching blazer. So they were my three outfits that I put together. So now that I've sort of explained myself, oh, and also, yeah, riding boots. The boots, the boots, which go with all three of these outfits. I was thinking what we could do is head out to a thrift store. Last year when I did thrift this, my Dark Academia video was my most popular episode out of all the 25 episodes I posted. People liked the Dark Academia one the most and they wanted me to do it again. So I thought between the two of us, if we challenge ourselves to say to people, all right, yes, uh, buying on a store like YesStyle or jumping online to a fast fashion website is easy. Yes, instant gratification, sure. You can just click on the link from a YesStyle haul and you can buy that thing. But there's something very fun and very rewarding about finding- Bargain hunting. It's yeah, good. bargain hunting and finding a clothing that is probably almost certainly going to be better as far as quality goes. Because when you go to the thrift stores and you find a twenty dollar jacket. So you said perhaps you know, like this jacket might be fifteen or twenty kind of thing. Yeah. So if you take your twenty dollars to a thrift store, what is the tweed jacket going to be like that you buy from the thrift store? Well, it's probably going to be made of cashmere from the nineties, and it's probably really well made with solid buttons that aren't going to fall off as soon as. To you... be fair, I do want to mention. I don't think any of this is particularly poorly made. A lot of the yes style uh, is very like undersold and it's very cheap. But I don't think the people who are making it are underskilled. Yeah. I think some whenever it's bad, it's always because I think the material's bad. That's because someone cheaped out what material to use. Yeah. But traditionally, like, I think all of, everything here, I think is fine. I think it's good. Yes, style. You can make a whole outfit. You can go and, and make a whole outfit while you're sitting there, and it's great. Thrifting. You could think of an outfit, but you might not get all the pieces for like five months. Exactly. And that that does suck, but it's also part of the discovery process. Yeah, and it's also part of not buying into current trends and Definitely. buying things that you're going to be able to wear long term. It's very easy to see a trend like dark academia mm-hmm. and buy the whole lot of it and want to wear those outfits, but you bought it very quickly. There was no real thought behind it. You didn't have to look very hard to find those things. So they don't really mean that much to you. And yeah. once the trend is gone and you've moved on to cottage core and your dark academia things don't matter anymore, you may end up donating them. But when you go to thrift stores, and let's say you do spend a good couple of months curating and tailoring an outfit that's taking you a very long time to find, Mm. but once you do find that, you know that you're gonna hang on to that. You're not gonna just have your outfit that took you five months to piece together, wear it for three weeks, and then think that you don't like it anymore and donate that. Mm. You're going to be far more invested. I'm so protected on my clothes. I really love a lot of my stuff. Yeah. But like also trends are you're buying clothes for other people. You're yeah. buying clothes to like make a picture and show yeah. yourself to other people. Whereas if you're thrift shopping, yes, you can do the same thing, but it's a lot more effort. You're not always guaranteed. And more often than not, if you're buying something from a thrift store, you're buying it for yourself. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. So I reckon we jump in the car, we head out to a thrift store. I would like for us to challenge ourselves. Maybe we could visit two or three stores today. I'd like for us to challenge ourselves and see if we can get as close to these items as we can in both our sizes. And we don't have to buy every single thing, but if we are just browsing through the racks and you can pick it up and say, Alex, these pants, you know, in this thrift store, these yep. are these are like the pants that you had. And we can look at the price of them. We mm-hmm. can duck into a change room, try some things on. If there's anything that we really love, we can obviously get it and bring it back. I'm smirking because I'm just imagining me coming back being like, I didn't find anything in my size, but I found heaps of other stuff. Don't look at this. <laughs> but I got 10 books. <laughs> All right, let's head out. Oh, shoes. We're also going to try and find some shoes. Those are not leather, they're pleather. <laughs> if I find shoes like that, you don't, I would, I'm looking for shoes in my size like that every single day of my life at a thrift store. Like this is not a single or one-off challenge. Caitlin, I, I, want to, I want to teach you something. I'm going to teach you something really, really important. This is how I managed to find a mushroom lamp. 
I said to myself as I was walking toward the thrift store, I went, mushroom lamp. You're trying to teach, mushroom manif lamp. You're trying to teach manif mushroom manifesting lamp. to me? Mushroom lamp. And I walked in and there was a pink no, no, no. vintage mushroom lamp. So what are we going to say? What are we going to chant? No, no I, I believe not manifesting, Size 45 right? Size boots. <laughs> the universe gives you what you need. Yeah, and you yeah. need those boots. I might need, need those boots. One day I will get a pair of boots. They're perfect for me. It's taken me five years to not get them. When I do find them, they're going to be lovely. And it'll be today. I mean, it'll be nice if it was today. It'll be today. It'll be nice. Speak it into existence. Say it with me. It'll be today. Universe, I'd like a pair of these in like a size 41, if you could. Please. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Universe. Oh, look at that. That's from Queen's Park. That's a size 20. $60 for a two-piece set. I know. I know it's not dark academia, but it's really nice. Oh, look at me. I get instantly distracted by the pastel things. I'm, I'm here for dark academia, but I'm like, oh, look, a beautiful green plum dress. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, it's really soft too. Hang it. Look, a size 10. This, I really like this. I love this. I love this so much. Oh, that's cute. Oh, this is really cute. Look at this. What do you think? It's a bit business casual. Business casual? Oh, Caitlin, it's your favorite. It's your favorite. I think that's your favorite, dear. This is adorable. Oh, Caitlin! Made in Switzerland. They're made in Switzerland. Ew. They actually might fit me. I, they look like they're maybe <laughs> they a tiny big. bit too big. What are, you, what are you doing? Why not just put it on your oh, foot? It's so much bigger than my feet. Oh. Is, you know how big your foot is in comparison yeah. to your. Where does it my come foot up to? Is this big. So from this angle to there is my foot. Seriously? Yeah. Wow. I know, I know it's like a myth, but also that, I tried it and it works. That's an amazing life hack. <laughs> thinking about this since I was here the other day and I said to myself if it's still there when I go back I want to buy it. How much is it? $45. Oh, it's such, I really want it. Look it's got birds on it. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Whoa where did you find those? David Lawrence size That's 10. Him. Oh I have to try those on. Well, good find, but are they ladies? I have no idea. It came from a ladies section, so oh, maybe. Oh, cool, I want to try them. Good find. Pockets are fake though. <laughs> Pockets are fake? Are you serious? That's how you know they're girl pants. That's, <laughs> that's how you know they're girl pants, because the pockets are fake. And I mean, it's, it's never failed me before. That is absolutely amazing. That's like a, it's like a mantle that you put on top of a kitchen bench kind of thing. And then you put your, yeah, your yeah, plates, actually, yeah. your plates stand up in there. I wonder how much that is. I really want that. I think I could paint that white and make it part of my kitchen. So many people just cried when you said that. Well, paint it white, girl. You see a bookshelf and you want to paint it white. What do you reckon that is? A little baby chest? Good Lord. Good Lord. You know you want it. If I ever made merch. Yeah, you want it. <laughs> to be fair, no, I, I don't. Uh, I guess wrong then. I would, if I got that, I would cut it up and use it as a face mask, I swear to God. <laughs> Amazing shoes are never, ever in my size. Ever. Oh, size nine. I spoke too soon. They're I'm nice. Caitlin, nine. they're a size nine. I'm not a size nine. Oh, you're a size 10, aren't you? 10, 11. 10 to 11. Happy mm. 11. Oh, nice bags. So it's all right. We will find the boots for Caitlin. There will be boots for Caitlin. Oh, they're nice. Yeah. Size 40. Oh, yeah. The downside is I already have a pair. Very, very similar at home. These are nice. Oh, these are so nice. 37. Why, why is every shoe in every thrift shop a size 37? What happened to all the people with oh, size 37 feet? They're the most average shoe size. So therefore, they're the ones who thrift away their shoes the most often. Mm. Oh, we could get all of the Game of Thrones. Just give me an old hardcover book. Just one. Just one single, really old hardcover book. I have that book. <laughs> what, Assassin's, Assassin's Creed has a book? Yeah, and oh. it's not as the same as the game, they changed it. <gasps> what is this? It's, feel the texture of this. Why, why is it Ooh. like rubber? Hmm, back to the Christmas decorations where I was the other day. See if there's anything new. Ooh. Oh, I like all that. Oh, I like this. 
Good lord. What the hell? Ew, it's made ew, it's made of rubber. Yuck, I hate it. Ew, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Hamburger for your Christmas tree. I really like how at this Vinny's everything's colour coordinated. They put all the black and then that's all the silvers, greens, browns, timbers. Oh, a steamer. I need one of those. Oh, that's so exciting. You know you're almost 30 when you're that excited about yes. cooking. That's kind of tempting, but also that would be very easy to make myself. Oh my god, what the hell? That is so cute. Four dollars. I do not need it. I do not need it. But it's so nice. Well, maybe I do need it. No, I don't. If, if this is still here in a few days, I need it. Oh, a marble lady Susan. If that was white. Any luck? No. Well, made in Romania. I mean, it looks nice. Trust the Romanians to make something warm. I can imagine that, like... No, it's not that bad. And also the nice low v-neck would be nice too. Mm. Is that with like a white collar? Yeah. Either or. Look, two basket cases hanging out. Well, came away from that with a, a vase and a pastel blue dress yeah. and some Christmas decorations. Yeah. But um, we did find things that were suitable, I would say, for the dark academia. Those pants that you picked out, they were quite literally perfect. It's yeah, just they were, were too big for me. Oh my God, look at that thing. Look at that sideboard. Holy crap. That's yeah, beautiful. That's, that's dark academia, isn't it? It's $700. Look, a blue rooster. I want it. I don't fucking believe it. What the, what witchcraft. Are you... I don't want it still. I still don't want it. Sorry? You were sad it's that you didn't get What are you talking about? I denied the achievement, but now I can get it. Get it! <laughs> get the banana dress! No. I'm gonna get the banana dress. Then you can own a banana dress. No, it's for you. You better watch it. Oh my god, if you don't know what we're talking about, check out this video. <laughs> the universe gives you what you need. So you need the banana dress. No. Caitlin. No. You can't deny your own philosophy. Yes, well, I mean I just did. I'm getting you the banana. Look. People, I will lose subscribers in droves if I don't get you the banana dress. Oh! <gasps> add to cart. That's incredible, Caitlin. Please, add, don't put it back, don't put it back. If you don't want it, one of my subscribers will. Off to a fantastic start. There's the door. So far I have a pink dress covered in flowers and the banana dress that Caitlin missed out on six months ago. Carla, do you like how cool this is? nice. Are you being sarcastic? Oh, it's a jumpsuit. Oh, it's a Shein jumpsuit. Large. A size large. I'm not getting it. <laughs> Would you try it on? So, uh, what did you say? It annoys you that it looks so nice. Look at pockets. Like, it looks really nice. Okay. It looks so nice on you. Painfully nice. Painfully, Painfully nice. Painfully nice. You need a black jumpsuit in your life. Probably. Size 37. Why? Valley Girl, but at the same time it's so similar to so many that I just sold at my charity Depop launch. I want to try it on for fun because it's really really pretty. Shein. Calvin Klein. Alex Evenings. Caitlin, would you wear, these are your size, they're black pants. You don't like white leg pants? 
Look at Whoa. all the stitching. Whoa. And look at the label. English laundry. Elegant, <laughs> arrogant, English. <laughs> That's so funny. Spot vintage from a mile off. This is beautiful, but it's not my size. It's a stussy and expensive brand. Speaking of expensive brands. More vintage made in Australia. You don't like pink, but think about if you were someone that liked pink. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> that scarf is beautiful. You should get that. I probably will. Yeah. That's so nice. It's the most expensive thing in this whole basket. How much is it? Uh, this is twelve. Twelve dollars. Ready? Oh, oh my little god! Little <gasps> I love it. I don't. Oh, I'm gonna buy it anyway. <laughs> Not for you, but uh, someone will love it. It looks lovely on you. Blue really is your color. Like, blue is the best color for you. I look awful. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Oh no, it's okay. Well, I was just—I was gonna ask you to help me decide if I needed this, but I do need it. <laughs> this is like deja vu. I literally bought this exact dress from this exact store like six months ago when I was here last with Caitlin. The last time Caitlin and I came here. That's so weird. It's exactly the same dress. I have this at home. That's funny. I really like this frame. Oh, it's plastic. Interesting. Oh, it's five dollars. <gasps> Caitlin, that's five dollars. That's uh, I could spray paint that gold. Oh look, it's me and Archie. <laughs> but you know what? You could put mesh on the back of it and use it to hang earrings and jewelry on. Seven hundred dollars. It's so beautiful. Gee, this is so nice. Oh, it looks very old. It looks very, very oh interesting. So it's stained really dark on the inside, but the outside is this light colour. I wonder if it was all that color and someone sanded it back to strip away that color. Yeah, definitely. Someone's definitely stripped this. They took a sander to it because it's like all coarse and there's splinters and stuff. $700 is not bad for this. Like if you were to get a new buff, they're about two grand for something that size. I would never wear it, but it's beautiful. Off to the next stop. That was a pretty successful haul for me. I got a basket from each place and I got a vase from each place. These are cool. $15. Oh, of course, they're size eight. Oh, they're nice. These are cute too. Oh, these are a 42, Caitlin. Ooh. 42, that's Ooh. your size. The universe gives you what you need. Oh, these are adorable. Is that? They're too tall for me. Really? You could wear them. 
think it's not be too big, but I'll try. Oh, they're too big. Yeah, I don't mind these. Yeah, I think they're cheap. They're so comfortable. Yeah. You don't buy them, I will. These are an 11, Caitlin. Oh, these are too big. Wow, you can see one person must have donated all of these. It's very rare that you find size 11 shoes. If these were my size, there would be no stopping me. These are so, so nice. <laughs> can you try these on? Oh, Caitlin, they're so nice. Oh, you've got to get them. They're $10, Caitlin. You have to get those. They look incredible. More your size? Yeah. Oh, they're beautiful. They're Clarks. I've never seen so many size 10 shoes in one thrift store before. Wow. Oh, they're really nice though, very sweet. They fit Actually, me. Actually, you could probably fit them. Oh, they would fit me. Having a look? They're nice. They're a very sensible height. Oh, they're really wobbly. Mm. Your legs are messy. Not messy. Your legs look long. Not massive, it's the wrong word. Please don't drop it. If you drop it, we have evidence of you dropping it. I think this is a vintage hair dryer. I would say you- It is! 1978. So you put this in the bag. Oh, Caitlin, that looks so nice. Oh, no, it's too big. I like big. <laughs> Oh wow, it's very pretty. Gee, it looks really lovely. You look really uh, fancy. You also look like a detective. <laughs> You're right. It's, I think it's too big. Oh, it's so nice. Oh my god. What size is this? 12. It's a 12? Oh, yeah. it's so pretty. It's like that weird sort of cross between could it, is it a nighty or is it like stylish? Something that Princess it Polly me would a sell. a lot of that 13, suddenly 30 yeah. dress. Oh, it's really, really pretty. Look how nice this is, huh? That's beautiful. Oh, it's heavy. so heavy. That's so nice. Yeah. You have to try it. This is a really good brand. This would have been expensive. Wow, it's so nicely. Uh, can you take the, the belt up? <laughs> hey. That's better. Oh, that's lovely. That is lovely. Ooh, it doesn't look familiar. I hate that it looks so nice in here. Dang it. Dang it. I don't believe it. Caitlin, uh, do you see that stop? Yep, the pink. No, right, right, right. That's left. Right. Yeah, that. I have that. I thrifted that cushion last year. Could you grab it for me, please? Oh, I don't mind that. I really don't mind that at all. <laughs> I got a dress that matches my pillow. <laughs> Quality isn't very nice, but I love the style. Yeah. If I could find something like this, it's like vintage or made of silk. Don't mind that. It would fit you. Oh, the pockets are fake. Look at that. It's so beautiful. It's so cute! Good lord, look at that rain. And we have to walk to the car in that. Go, go, go! We're back. It's uh, almost half past six at night. We didn't get what we wanted as we, far as... We failed so bad. <laughs> but that being said, I wouldn't call it a, a fail as such. It's a I, work in progress. I did find a lot of dark academia things. I found a lot of things that were the right print, mm. the right like cut. I found a lot of skirts that were the right cut. You found those um, tweed pants that would have been perfect if they were my size. Every store we went to, I found tweed pants. So as far as trying to find equal outfits to the Yes style stuff, not gonna happen, but... Not in a day at least, no. Not in a day, but what I was thinking, next week, if we take this week to go on on thrift stores online, I think we will have a lot better luck finding those Probably. sorts of specific items. You know, like we should be able to find turtleneck mm. and pleated skirt. I only found like two pleated skirts 
Out of everywhere we went. I found a few like A line skirts. I saw one of the pleated skirts you were looking at. It was very, it was like pink and short and it was like like a brat doll skirt. Yeah, and yeah. Nothing like what it needed to yeah. be. But yeah. I do know from looking at salvos online and lifeline online and places mm. I've seen plenty of pleated skirts. I think that we bench the yes style topic and the yes style dark academia mm. until next week. Then we can spend the next couple of days shopping online and trying to find You're giving me homework, dang. Dark academia clothing. But as far as this video goes, why don't we just show some of the things that we got? Yeah. How many things did you get? Four. As a coat? It's amazing. It's huge. It is it's so heavy. It's it's like if you pick two cats up, that's how heavy it is. It's ugh, like it's genuinely ugh. very, very heavy. It's like, like a, a vampire coat. It's so red. Guys, I look hot in this. This is cool. Oh, that's so cool. My cushion. Anyone that tuned into Thrifmas last year, you would have understood when I pointed at it and I was like, Caitlin, do you see? And she was like, see what? Here's the one I got today. $3 from Salvos. This is the one that I got Thrifmas last year. Now that one I got at the Salvos in Dural. This one last year, I think I got it from the Vinnie's in Dural. So look, for my little matching armchairs, I now have matching cushions thrifted a year apart. And then in um, Monday's video where I curled my hair using the hair curlers from Wish and then I went out thrift shopping, I got this nice big pink velvet cushion. You look so good. Dude, it gives me a butt. The shape that look, it gives. My ass is still here. It's really nicely tailored and it's got these oh nice God. lines here. And yeah. look, it's giving it a look at her bum. It looks really nice. Like, what is this? It was 15 bucks. Excellent. Ha, 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 ha. It's so good. I got this. This is a vintage sweater. It's really cute. If anyone tuned into my I went to a pastel thrift store video that I did last year, there's That's a so pastel sweet. thrift store in Koenji in Tokyo and everything that they sold was like this. And this is the first time <laughs> in one of our local thrift stores that I've found like a vintage. So sweet. Isn't it lovely? Fully embroidered. And this is one of my favorite color combinations when mm. it's like a mint kind of color with pink and lilac. It's so cute. I got do you want to tell them the story for anyone that is not a subscriber of yours that doesn't know what we're all freaking out about? I went thrift shopping. I wore a banana dress. It annoyingly fit really well, except it was covered, up with, covered with bananas. So I left it there. And then I released a video and they were like, get the banana dress. I'm like, okay, fine. Internet peer pressure me. So I went back to get the banana dress and it wasn't there. When I was looking at it, someone mentioned that in the store, they were like, oh, it was there for months. And then suddenly someone's got it. And this is the first time we've been back in like six months. It and the banana actually, dress yeah. has reappeared in the store. It was just in the store. I'm like, someone bought it. Took it away. It was gone for six months and they brought it back. And it I, was like, it has to be the same one. It's the like, same one. Cause like, like, no one just has this hanging around, right? It's the like, same one. Now, last year, my Horcruxes for Thriftmas were things that were iridescent. But this year, my Horcruxes have changed to blue porcelain. In my video about my hair curlers, I acquired my first Horcrux, which was the blue vase. Then, from that same store, we went back there today, I acquired so many. my second Horcrux, this beautiful blue vase with the pheasants on it. This is $45. It matches the theme of a lot of the things that I have in this house. So this will look really nice with some hydrangeas st sticking out of it. My third Horcrux, a little ginger jar. I love these. I really love taking the lid off them and sitting the lid off to one side. You have flowers sticking out of the jar and then you've got the little lid sitting off to one side. It's just a really nice way to decorate the place. It's made in Japan. I didn't even realize it was from Japan. I didn't even look on the bottom of it. I no. just- You just saw it and picked it up and went, yes. Yes. <laughs> these are to sit on the back of my kitchen bar stools. I've got four matching bar stools and there's four of these little wreath things. Now this, you looked, you looked amazing in this. $25. The brand is Delinda. Delinda is Blue Label. Very nice. Sydney by Ronan Young. It is sweet. Vintage piece of clothing in the most pristine condition really, imaginable. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's ever been It's gorgeous. Worn. I think someone's grandma had this sitting hmm. in their suitcase or something and then she passed away and then their family just donated it and I don't think that she ever wore it. I reckon that's something like that because it's it's like it would have been brand new out of the store. Look, it still has a belt. I don't know if there's any fabric composition. Will you have a look and see if you can find a little tag on the inside to say? This dress is from Seed Heritage and Seed Heritage is an Australian brand that's pricey and I've never bought anything from there before because it's the sort of store that you walk into and you're like, wow, that's pretty. And you look at the tag and you go, yep. 
<laughs> and you turn around and leave. Uh, it's really nice stuff, it's good quality, but it, it's expensive. And I've now acquired a couple of seed pieces in my thrifting journeys. This reminds me of the black yes style dress that we all raved about. Do you guys remember like the, the one dress that fit everyone, that looked so amazing on everyone? This is a very similar dress to that, but it's just a lot longer. I don't wear that dress a lot because it's so short, but this one comes all the way down past my mm. knees. And there's no tag, is there? There's no tag. So I know you don't want it. It's yeah. a size 16. I bought it because we've got a few friends that are a size 16 and I'm going to do this video where I've got all of this beautiful clothing that's like 14, 16, 18. I'm going to get my friends to have a look at it and they can have whatever they want and anything that they don't want. If you guys want me to list it online and I can sell it to you guys for what I bought it for. That was, what did 20, I say? 20 I believe. 20? It still has the thing on it. Uh, 25. $25. So I think $25 for something like that. Yeah, no, it's, it's really like... I do think it's lovely, it's just not my style and I wouldn't wear it. Then the last thing I got from that store was this incredible basket. Look how heavy this is. This is a huge wicker basket, it's $10. I'm actually going to use it to put my enormous fiddle leaf fig in. Thrift stores are excellent for acquiring baskets. Yeah, apparently. Because I got two There's baskets two of them at the same source. that match a basket I got last year in Thriftmas. This was from Seed. I got this because it's so delightful. It's so mm. well made. This is a large. Yeah. Why don't you pop it on? Oh, okay. Yeah, put it on. See what it looks like. I just like this bit here. Like you can see how the stitching is going in different directions. Yeah. It's well structured. <laughs> I definitely did well with the Dark Academia theme today. As you can <laughs> see, I did very well. Oh, that looks nice on you. Hello. That looks really nice on you. Thank you. Everything looks nice on me. Do you like it? It's, it's alright. I have I have a lot I have a lot of sweaters. I have a lot of sweaters. If you like it, please keep it. I mean, it was more so I bought it because I was like, this is amazing and I would be very happy to have this, but mm. also it fits you a lot better. No, it's alright. No, again, I, I have so many sweaters. Okay. This is from the ASOS Hello Kitty collection. Do you guys remember years ago when I had my ASOS Hello Kitty haul, mm -hmm. when they launched this collection? This shirt sold out very quickly. I can't believe I found it. It's come to you today. The universe gives you what you need. And I've- Bonjour. I've never gotten rid of anything from the collection because I, I treasure all of it so much. Could not believe it. You were so pleased when you found that. You look like you've done a crime. Yeah. I got- this, I didn't try this on in the oh, store. Oh, I like this one. So I'm gonna go Sweet. try this on now because there's a there's a possibility it might not fit me, it might not look good. It was $20 and it's from the brand Forever New, which is a very nice store yeah. in Australia. Not to be confused with Forever 21, completely different store. Yeah. I got this for Michelle because Michelle is German and I think, <laughs> I think, I'm not certain, but I think this is some sort of German. Just dress. wait until you find out it's Swiss. Michelle looks really, really nice wearing green. Mm -hmm. And I, green and red she likes to wear. So I thought I'll add this to my little pile of things that I've been buying for her. Do I have to put this on? You, you can see it. To. Look at it. You can but see I this. I didn't get any footage of you wearing it. 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 It looks so nice on you. Okay, fine. Do I have to get in this one? Well, I mean, that's pretty easy. Look at that. It's a sweater. It's blue. It might be too small. Oh, no. Oh, that's cute. Mm. I thought it would fit me. So you can see my wrists. That color looks magnificent. I know, but it's too small. Look at these wrists. You uh, Don't show them for free. Exposed to the air. All right, well, my last item is a little scarf. Big, pretty scarf. This was actually the now, this is the most expensive thing I bought. Is this? <laughs> it's beautiful. It was 12 bucks, 12 dollars. This necklace that I got, this is, mm. I just, These are pretty. I'm really glad that I looked in the jewelry cabinet because this is so small and so dainty, I absolutely would have missed it. Yeah. Which would have been a real shame because if you guys tuned into uh, Monday's video, I went thrifting and I got a blue vintage suitcase. I got blue earrings and I got a blue watch. And now I've found a beautiful blue necklace. Look at this. Uh, it's so fine. I don't know if you'll even be able to see it. Anyone know what Wedgwood is? It looks like it a little Wedgwood head and it's very, very heavy. And on the back, it's got Sarah. copyright Sarah, that says. This is so nice. I just, I love how dainty it is. Lovely. Look at your tree trunk of a neck. <laughs> Anastasia, hello, it's me, Grandma I'm Anastasia. You look amazing! Wow! This was um, the top, it's from Bardo, right? Yeah, it was five bucks. It's funny because in yesterday's video, I got a top from Bardo for like five or ten dollars or whatever it was, and I was saying how Bardo is a beautiful brand. 
but it's expensive brand new. It's got a zipper down the side. It's lined. Like, dude. It looks amazing. Just the last couple of things that I got. Christmas decorations, because the other day I got a gold Christmas tree and why you no focus on the Christmas tree? Really my it's just tomorrow. like, Caitlin looks beautiful. My Christmas theme is gold, blue and pink slash maybe not pink, maybe just gold, blue and white. Uh, I know, blasphemy. Alex getting rid of the pink theme? Maybe. I got some more gold baubles. I like the packaging as a Coles sandwich bag. And they're quite nice. <laughs> they're really nice ones. I reckon these were probably expensive when they were new. They're glass baubles. They're not plastic. They're, they're actual glass baubles. Hey, it's some Christmas cards. Christmas cards because they've got gold on them. And obviously that's the theme of my Christmas this year, gold. And, and then your Christmas uh, bow bun. Look, Dan. Taller. Hey, it's a steam pot. Yeah. Yes. Like five bucks, it was a good deal. Because the one that Dan and I currently use is that big and it fits six dumplings. Yeah. One dumpling. One pork bun. So we set out for a dark academia haul and we came away with vases, steamers, blue dresses. Oh, yeah. and, and I got my, my second basket. I got two There's of two. these, which makes me very, very happy because these look so nice styled around the house with blankets and stuff in them. So that's the thrift haul uh, for today. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please come back again tomorrow and the day after and the day after that. But most importantly, come back again next Tuesday for when Caitlin and I will reveal the dark yeah. academia clothing that we've thrifted and online. hopefully we're a lot more successful this time. We will be. We do we will be. Look at hang on, have I showed you this? Wait. I got that from the Salvos online. It's a Zara blazer. It's got little like sleeveys. So the fact that uh, I was able to thrift this, which would fit so perfectly with the dark academia theme. And I have a few other things that would fit the oh, theme very nicely. Black black brown collar. Yep. Oh my gosh. Attention to detail. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I think if we do some online thrifting yeah. for Dark Academia, we can pick up this video concept again next week. At least this way I can like filter it via my side. Ring, 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 ring. Do, 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 do. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding. Oh yeah. Woo. Banana dress. <laughs> All right, well with that, Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow! Bye! <laughs> Caitlin, it's fucking incredible. It, it's... it has no right to look as nice as it does, alright? <laughs> it just, it looks like, I mean like... Please wear it to D&D. No!